Hey guys, welcome to the next video. This one is all going to be about resonance and how it works with hybridization. Now I know I didn't make a specific video about orbitals and hybridization, but you did see it in your first two lectures, so that's why I'm going to be including it in this video. And we're going to go over a very specific problem that you guys will see on your exam one. Um, it comes up almost every year, so I'm willing to bet it's going to come up this year too. And it can be an easy way to get points on the test, alright? So, uh, there's no reason to get this one wrong. You can always put an example of it on your index card, but um, I'm going to show you guys the question here. Uh, and yeah, it's not a bad question in any way, but it's a very good concept to understand. All right. And so I gave you this structure here in white, and the question is, how many atoms are sp2 hybridized? So I would take a minute and pause the video and try to figure it out for yourself before you hear me explain it. Okay. So I'm going to assume you just paused it and tried it out for yourself. So we'll go through the explanation. All right. So from what you guys have learned, you would say the answer, uh, well, you would, the answer would be this carbon right here, this carbon, this carbon over here, and then this oxygen, right? That's what you guys uh, uh, would think, right? If you just looked at the hybridization. So we would write 4sp2. All right, and let's go over those four first before we do anything else. We have this carbon it's bound to a hydrogen, right? Remember, we don't show it, and so it's bound one, two, three atoms, sp2. Remember, that's like the shortcut way of finding out if something is uh, uh, the hybridization of something, all right? You just count the amount of things it's bound to, and then from there, so if it would be bound to three things, right? We would write sp2, 1s, and 2p's, total of 3. If it would be bound to three things, right? Oh, sorry. Um, four things, it would be sp3, because 1s and 3p's gives us a total of 4. Right? So that's like a quick shortcut way. So that one, hydrogen, that one carbon is sp2. This one is the same as that one. We're going to have a bound to one hydrogen and two carbons. So that's a total of three things, sp2. Now looking at this carbon is bound to one carbon there, that nitrogen, and that oxygen. It's double, bound to, it's double bonded to it, so remember there's no hydrogen there. So that's sp2 also. This oxygen over here, right? is double bonded to that carbon, so that's one thing, but it also has two lone pairs. All right, so that's also sp2. So it looks like our answer is four, but in reality, it's actually not four. This answer on the test would be wrong, and it would be the most commonly picked wrong answer. So let me show you guys why. So I'm just gonna redraw it over here. So. All the ones that we picked so far are correct, okay? Oh, sorry, that was not one of them. So all the ones that we picked so far that I'm coloring in green were correct. So there are all those, there are those four sp2 hybridized atoms, but there's one more that you guys didn't pick, right? And that's going to be the nitrogen, okay? Now I'm going to explain why. Now, the nitrogen, if we count it as it is right now, is bound to a carbon here, another carbon there, this hydrogen, and a lone pair, right? So as it looks right now, this is going to be bound to four things, so sp3. But when you're talking about hybridization, the one thing you need to look out for is if you can resonate, okay? If you can resonate and the atom in a different resonance form has a lower uh, lower hybridization, then in reality it is that hybridization, okay? So we can draw a resonance structure uh, for this molecule in which the nitrogen would have a lower hybridization, so let's just try it out now. Now, it would be a good idea to pause this video again and try to draw the resonance structure on your own, all right? That way it just gives you a little bit more practice with curved arrows and resonance and formal charge. All right, so I'm just going to start it over here. Can bring that double um, that lone pair down 
and kick that double bond up to that oxygen. And so we would have this structure. Oxygen is going to have a negative charge. Nitrogen would be double bonded to that carbon, and they would now have a positive charge. So now we have to figure out the hybrid. Let's look at the hybridization again. It's bound to that one carbon here, a second carbon there, a hydrogen, but we don't have that lone pair anymore, so it's only bound to three things. So now it's going to be sp2 hybridized, okay? And so because molecules um, are in equilibrium with their resonance structures, remember, in resonance structures, a molecule doesn't exist in one state only. So this molecule right here, it doesn't always stay that way. It can flow back and forth between these two and other resonance structures that are possible. And I left that double bond out. Sorry about that. All right. And so just to show you guys again, uh, just to verify this for you guys, look at this oxygen right here, all right? As it is, it has three lone pairs and is bound to that carbon. That's bound to four things. So it should be sp3. Yet we said in this example, it was sp2. Because if you count it here, we have two lone pairs and bound to that one carbon. That's three things. So sp2. So you guys can see that one resonance structure can give sp3, another one can give sp2. So if the lesson here is if through resonance you can give an atom a lower hybridization, then it counts towards that hybridization count. So if it looks in one resonance form that you have three sp2 atoms, yet with resonance you can get, let's say, an addition, uh, you can get an additional two sp2 hybridized, that means you actually have a total of five sp2 hybridized all right and so you guys just want to remember this for the test uh, it might come up in one of your future workshops and i think i included it in maybe my resonance uh review quizzes i'll have to go and check that but it'll def it's definitely on some previous tests that you can go and look at on oscar and so you'll definitely see that any practice questions there so um if you have any questions Feel free to email me. Feel free to ask a TA. We're just here to help you guys. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.